Hey guys, Jemmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you something I got off eBay. This is one of the three things I got for my birthday. The last one I showed being the South Park Dancing Chef. You can go check out that review if you wish. This is the second thing I got. The Jammy Jammers Gorilla from Jemmy Industries. Now, if you don't know, Jemmy Industries did make a series called the Jammy Jammers. Just take a look at E and T-Man 98's videos on these animated characters. Now, as far as I know, there is a total of four. A dog one that sings Crazy Little Thing Called Love, a bear that sings Mr. Sandman, and by the way, the bear's recording of the song is actually the same as Sleepy Simon's. It's just at normal pitch, and the audio is much clearer. And then the frog one, which sings Lover Boy, which has the exact same recording of the song as the Lover Goat, which was also made by Jemmy Industries, but, you know, minus the goat sounds. And then there's this guy, the Gorilla Jammy Jammer, that sings Talking in Your Sleep. Yeah, that's literally the name of the song, Talking in Your Sleep. Now, the previous seller said it was in brand new condition, and I actually believed that seller when he or she said that in the description and in the title of the listing this was from, because it looks like the previous owner, like, never used this thing at all. It's almost, it's almost amazing, actually. You purchase the item, and then you don't bother using it. So that, that's basically just wasting your own money. But I'll bet this went up for a pretty good price, um, back when it was sold in the stores in 2007, so I guess that's why he bought it, because it looked cute and such. And, in addition, this character still has his original tag. Now, you'll notice that, um, yeah, this didn't come with an original box. I don't think, um, any of the Jammy Jammers came with an original box, but they do have this tag. And you'll notice it does have the typical Walmart design for Valentine's Day. And keep in mind, this was from 2007, so of course they were going to have to follow, um, the Walmart, um, product package design thingamabob or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it says love and then two from... And then, let's read the back of this one's tag. It says, Jammies Jammer. Actually, the S is supposed to go next to, at the end of Jammer, not Jammies. But that's the actual name. It's called Animated Jammies Jammer. And this is item number 43606. And this was sold at Walmart at the time. And then, the back of the tag. And there's the name of the song, Talking in Your Sleep. Composed by George Kaner. Walter Perkin, or Mike Skill, James Morris, and Peter Saley, 100% published by EMI, April Music, Inc., for ages 8 and up. Now, um, you guys are probably wondering just how big this character is. Well, um, I was thinking, um, he was gonna be about, about as high as this little board. Let me lean him against the door. You can see that I was expecting him to be about as high as here to this little square on the door, but no, he's actually really small. And um, for even more size comparison, I'm just going to put my hand next to him so you can see just exactly how big he is. Yeah, he's about the exact same size as my hand. Actually, my hand is actually a little bit bigger than him, so yeah. It's amazing how they were able to fit such a small mechanism in such a small character. Well, that's Jemmy Industries for you. Making all kinds of crazy mechanisms since pretty much the 90s. But anyways, this guy rolls his head around and wiggles his arms while singing the song, Talking in Your Sleep. So without any further delays or ado, we'll show this guy in action, so here you go. And by the way, those are the actual demo batteries that were in him ever since his debut in 2007, which is a bit of a bonus. And, and they seem pretty darn fresh, so yeah, no way am I going to replace them anytime soon, especially considering that Jemmy has been using Duracell batteries, which have been scientifically proven to be the longest lasting battery brand in pretty much the history of battery brands. And, um, another additional feature that this guy has is that when you place him on a small, no, not a small, a smooth, flat surface, you'll notice these little bumps on the sides of the base 
are supposed to make his body rock back and forth while he dances. And you're thinking that was just a manufacturing error. No, that was intentional. That That's the purpose of these little bumps. And I'm going to be honest, that's actually a pretty cool feature that they added for this character. And not only did they use it for this character, they used it for all of their mini dancing hamsters from 2006. You know, the more cartoonish dancing hamsters that Jemmy made a few years after the originals? Yeah, and the mini dancing hamsters are supposedly smaller than the originals, but put the mini hamster side by side with a regular dancing hamster, they seem to be only smaller by about an inch, and that's about it. And the same thing applies here. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and play him one more time. But first, let's get an overview of the character so you can get all the details. Yep, here it is again, next to my hand. He's a really small character. And then the purple pajamas with the white hearts. And then the tag says it was sold at Walmart, again, because that's where it was sold. Marketed by Walmart Stores, Inc. And then Jemmy Industries Corp, Coppell, Texas. 75019, the back of the tag, and then the back of the character. Other side. All right, now we'll go ahead and play the Jammy Jammers Gorilla one more time before we end the video. So here we go again. And there you go, guys. That's the Jemmy Animated Jammy Jammers Gorilla for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.